Greetings, friends of chemistry. I'm working on the test for module eight. And I'm starting with question number one. Which of the following atoms will have similar chemistry? F, I, P, S, N, and A, S. Well, as we know, atoms that have similar chemistry will be in the same column, in the same column in the periodic table. So I need to look at the periodic table on the inside of my book and locate all of these elements. And I see that N, P, and A, S are in the same column. Okay, the other two are in different columns. And so from each other and from the others. So those three have the same chemistry. Okay, that's question number one. Question number two says, how many valence electrons are in this electron configuration? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p2. So we want to know how many valence electrons it has. So we're going to be looking at the highest energy level. The highest energy level is 4. This is three, so it doesn't count. We have two and we have two. Two plus two is four. So there are four valence electrons in this electron configuration. Number three says, what columns in the periodic chart represent the transition metals? Those are all the B columns. These columns here. All the B columns are the ones that represent the transition metals. 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, the 8B columns, and 1B and 2B. Number four, what column on the periodic chart contains the atoms with the ideal electron configuration? An ideal electron configuration is configuration where your valence electrons are full. They're a full level. And that is the farthest right, this column here, which is 8A. Those are the noble gases in column 8A. Number five, what type of charge do metal ions develop in ionic compounds? In ionic compounds, uh, metal ions will develop a negative charge. Excuse me, I lied. They will develop a positive charge because they lose. Uh, anyway, they develop a positive charge. When atoms share electrons to make a molecule, is the compound ionic or covalent? When they share electrons, it's a covalent bond, okay? With an ionic bond, they actually lose or gain electrons. So the um, covalent bond is when they share electrons to make a molecule. Number seven, when trying to determine whether or not an atom gives up its electrons easily, do chemists look at electronegativity or ionization potential? The answer is ionization potential. Okay, Ionization potential tells us the amount of energy it requires for that atom to give up its electrons. Number eight, what does ozone do to make life on Earth possible? Well, ozone blocks electro, uh, ultraviolet radiation. Um, so that's what it does. It blocks ultraviolet radiation. Number nine, what is the Lewis structure for Al? So we find Al, aluminum, and it is on the chart. Find it here. And number 13. So number 13 in column 3A. Column 3A, which is here, column 3A tells me that it has three valence electrons. So it's going to have this, two, three, this Lewis configuration. This is the order you should write them. 
to the right, to the bottom, to the left, to the top. So I have four, we'll go there, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three. The order you should write them. Number 10. Write the chemical formulas for the following compounds. A, potassium arsenide. Arsenic is abbreviated AS. So let's start with that. Well, potassium is number 19 or K, and it's over in column 1A. Okay. And arsenic is AS. Okay. And AS is over in column 5A. Okay. Now, we're not supposed to look for the test. We were supposed to remember this information um, on 255 that tells us about how to deal with these different uh, columns and groups, right? So K, potassium, being in uh, 1A, uh, it wants to lose its valence electron. So it's going to lose its 1, and it's going to have a 1 plus. Okay. Um, arsenic uh, over in column 5A is um, wants to gain 3, so it's going to have a 3 negative. Okay. Big pardon. <clears throat> okay. So with those, uh, with this information, we ignore the signs and reverse the numbers. So we're going to say K3AS. Okay, that's for letter A. Number 10B, iron 3 oxide. Well, iron, if you look at the periodic table, is in column 8B. And we're not going to be able to figure that out uh, to decide what it's going to be on its own. So fortunately, they've told us. So that means that we have Fe3+, plus, okay, because it's Fe3. And oxide, well, if we look at the periodic table, we find oxygen over it in 6A. So we're going to give it a 2 negative. Okay, we ignore the charges and we reverse the numbers. Fe2O3. Okay, and letter C is calcium sulfide. Well, calcium is in column 2A. Okay, um, so it's going to have a uh, 2 plus charge. And sulfur, sulfide, is over in 6A. So like oxygen, it's going to have a 2 negative charge. So we ignore the number, uh, ignore the signs and reverse the numbers. We're going to have, we don't need to say 2 twice because it's the same number. So we're just going to say CAS. Okay. So 10A is KS, a, uh, K3AS. B is Fe2O3. And C is CA. S. Number 11, which of the following atoms gives up its electrons most easily? Okay, magnesium, sodium, and uh, potassium. No, phosphorus, excuse me. P, it's phosphorus. So uh, sodium is here. Okay, and magnesium is right next to it. And phosphorus is way over here. All right. So looking at the periodic table, we know that as you go down, um, ionization potential decreases. And as you go across, it increases. The ionization potential is the amount of energy that it takes for that atom to lose an electron, okay? So uh, 
if the ionization potential is increasing, then you have to go to the other side to find the one that gives up its electrons most easily, okay? So it's going to be uh, the sodium is going to give up its electrons most easily because it is the farthest to the left on the periodic chart. Number 12 asks us to order the following atoms in terms of increasing electronegativity. Electronegativity um, follows the same path as ionization potential. So as you go down the periodic table, electronegativity decreases. As you go from left to right, electronegativity increases. So if we have the atoms Ba, this is number 12, we have Ba, M, G, Ca, and Sr. We look at the periodic table and we find that they are all in this column. We see Mg here, Ba is down here. Um, S, R, and C, A. So uh, we want to order them from increasing, okay? So it decreases as you go down. So we're going to start at the bottom. So 12 is going to be B, A is less than S, R is less than C, A, which is less than M, G. So that would be... Uh, or the placing them in the order of increasing electronegativity. Okay, B A S R C A M G. Okay, I'm going to pause and come back with a final video for number 13.